hey guys welcome once again to my channel this is your favorite tech savvy okay mute for the ns guys in today's video i'm going to show you how to use your smartphone to create ebook covers easily okay so if you're someone who is interested in creating your book covers yourself or maybe it's a very quick book that you just want to publish and you need to just do it yourself i'm going to show you how to do that using your smartphone okay so if you're new on this channel do not forget to subscribe to the channel like this video so that youtube will get to show it to more persons and click on the notification bell so you'll be at alert whenever i drop a video on this channel if you are my returning subscriber i want to say thank you so much for returning back to this channel trust me you're going to get a lot of value from this channel so let's get started with what i have for you but before we do that i would love you to join my canva masterclass if you want to know how to use canva to design professionally i advise you join that particular class because trust me you're going to get access to over 20 recorded videos on canva tricks and how to design professionally using canva okay so let's get started now the first thing you need to do is to head over to your canva and i'm just going to go to the home area so i'm going to be using a particular size which is um a4 size so i come here to document a4 so you can see here so i click and it's going to open for me so the first thing i want to do quickly let me show you an example of the book cover that we're going to be creating so i go to my upload and we're going to be seeing um a particular design i uploaded here so this is it so i'm going to show you how to design something of this nature it's very simple straight to point and not too busy okay i've seen a lot of ebook covers or book covers that are published that are too busy okay so if you want to easily pass your message to your audience it's advisable that your designs should be very simple and straight to point do not add too many things okay don't add too many things to your designs so let me show you how to do something of this nature so i'm just going to add a new page scroll to add a new page so right here i'm going to go to my plus sign and then i go to my elements and i'm going to be using a particular element that's where i got the pot from it's called halloween um images halloween images something like that so i'm just going to keep scrolling until we find halloween okay so it's somewhere around you're going to find it soon so you can see here halloween elements so what i did was to just click on it and there are a lot of elements here that you can just pick they are all 3d elements so i just selected the pot because the title of this particular book is all about the pot of wealth so i think um, using an image that signifies pots and something that is really busy inside the pot was the was what inspired me to use this particular pot you're seeing here so if you're someone who is using a particular title like this you can just get something that is related to the title of the book you're creating okay so this is what i have here and next thing i did was to um, add a background so i went to my colors and i use a gradient so i scroll down to where i have gradient and i selected this particular one so this is perfect for me so the next thing i did was to come here i went to plus sign again and i went to my test now i'm going to select add a heading so this heading is going to be the pot okay remember to make your work to be very simple that's the essence so the pot is the it's going to be like this and i'm going to drag it to the top a little bit now i'm going to duplicate this so i click and then i'm going to duplicate i'm going to take it down and then i'm going to say welt now i'm going to make sure that this particular welt is um kind of bigger than the pot so and i also make sure that it's in the middle now the next thing i did was to just duplicate this pot again i'll reduce it and i'll drag it to the middle and i'm going to name this to be off so you can see now that i've gotten this very simple and straight to point now the next thing i did was to add my name that's the author of this particular book by going to my elements and i'm going to look for a rectangle or a square so whichever one of them you can get access to so this is it and i'm going to drag it to the end reduce the size take it to the very top so i'm going to reduce the size again just make sure it's where you want it to be okay so now i went to colors and i'm going to change the color to black 
I close this now so you can see right here the next thing I did was to select this off duplicate and then I changed the color to white so you can use any color of your choice that is visible in black so I use white and I'm going to change this name now to Fole Okemuti Ernest okay and the next thing I did was to change this particular style to something else entirely I went to immediately I click on the test it's going to bring out something like this hish um, test style so I'm going to say it should be a subheading so you can see now that the, the size has reduced so what I did was to just make sure that it's in the middle of this shape so that's how I was able to achieve this. Now, when I'm done, I'm just going to download it as a PNG. Just click on this download button at the um, top right hand side. And I'm going to click on download and select, uh, say, just page two. Okay. I select just page two. I click on done and click on download. Now, when it's done downloading, the next thing I'm going to do is to upload it back to my Canva. Okay. Upload it back to Canva. So, I'm just going to click OK and then I'm going to go to open a new page or if I want to make this particular design, I want to share it on my Instagram, my Facebook. I'm not going to be using this particular size. So it's advisable you use Instagram size for those kind of designs. So after uploading to my to my canva here i'm just going to go back to home and i'm going to be using an instagram size for this area so i come to plus sign and i'm going to select instagram post which is um 1080 by 1080 so when i get here the next thing i want to do is to go to plus sign again and i'm going to head over to my uploads because i've already uploaded this particular design here so i come here i select the image and you can see it right here so once i click on the image you see something called effect f and x so i click on the on it and it's going to show me something like this so we're going to be clicking on apps so under apps you get to see mockups so when you get to mockups you're going to be using the ones called print because that's what's going to give you a book format so scroll to where you have um print so you can see it here so i click on see more so i get to see all the book formats that they have here so I, there are so many options so many options that you can just decide or choose from so i'm going to be using something of this nature so you can see it right here so once you've selected this particular um, um, style just make sure you increase it to your choice increase it a little bit okay very important and then i'm going to click on the image itself and i'll drag it to where the mock-up is so once you do that you allow it to load for a while okay it's going to keep loading until the image take the shape of this particular mock-up that's all you need to do so you can see on my screen now that i have my book ready my book cover already it's looking already like a book so remember i told you guys that there are different mock-up styles okay you don't need to use this um, style i'm using now so if you want to change you just click on edit and then they will show you more mockups okay see you can just clear the mockup and then go ahead to select another one of your choice so that's how it works so remember i said you if you want to share it on social media that's when you come here to use your instagram because after creating your book you want to do anticipation um show people to get started in buying or getting a copy and all that that's how you need to use instagram it's not advisable to use the other um size which was a4 that i used before now okay so let's see so i will keep increasing till i get my desired size and then i can start adding my test get a copy now for social -so amount and all that so that's how to achieve this using your smartphone if you got value from this video do not forget to subscribe to our channel like this video so that youtube will get to show it to more persons also click on the notification bell so you will be at alert whenever i drop a video on this channel and remember if you want to get more access to advanced videos on how to use canva i would advise you join my premium or master class on canva design creation using your smartphone just click the link in the comment section or the description of this particular video to get started see you guys bye